today on CBS Sports is powered by Ram Trucks. Welcome back to the NFL Today and now Game Day Delivery presented by Amazon takes you out live to Pittsburgh for the sights and sounds of the game between the Browns and the Steelers. Let's join our announcers, Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, and Evan Washburn. JV, welcome to Pittsburgh. Today, a highly anticipated rematch for the Browns and Steelers. They're meeting for the second time in 18 days. Major wild card implications, but a lot of the focus will be on how these two teams keep their emotions in check after one of the ugliest incidents in NFL history. It's a brawl going down inside the 10 yard line. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 we got the action. Oh, we got play. Finish me. Oh, and Pittsburgh retaliating. Marquise Pouncey was kicking in there, and flags are flying. And the benchers are coming off the field. Well, this just sets the stage for the rematch. The rematch. Yeah, it does. The discipline from the league was swift and it was strong. Both organizations fined $250,000. The suspension for Miles Garrett, Marquise Pouncey, drew the biggest suspension for Pittsburgh. Fines on both sides. And today is the rematch. Hi, everybody. Ian Eagle, along with the Hall of Famer Dan Fouts. Evan Washburn joins us as well. We know this has been a heated rivalry for a long time. But what happened on that Thursday night, Dan, that crossed the line. Yeah, both players were at fault. There's no excuse for that type of action in the NFL. The thing that players have got to realize is they're hurting the future of the NFL. Every time there is a fight on the field, a helmet-to-helmet hit, or another player goes into the concussion protocol, parents across the country are saying, no, my son, my daughter, you're not playing football. The youth football numbers are down across the country. It's up to the players to turn that trend around by using their heads. No, I take that back. Use what's inside your head. Use your brain before it's too late. All right, let's get more right now with Evan. Well, Ian, the goal from both sidelines is not to allow the pass to bleed into the present. Mike Tomlin telling us we're not going to let the last eight seconds of the last game be the story. This is an opportunity, an intense matchup that will resemble January football. As for Freddie Kitchens, he said it's about playing with a passion and purpose. Don't allow the emotion to affect decision-making, guys. Well, Evan... A lot has changed for Mason Rudolph since that game. He's now the backup quarterback, Mike Tomlin, looking for a spark, less mistakes. So Duck Hodges, undrafted out of Samford, makes his second start of the season. Yeah, Duck impressed Mike Tomlin in limited opportunities this season. He said that he has something, that there's something called moxie. Tomlin feels that there's no moment too big for Duck. Hodges promised us yesterday that the bigger the stage, the better he plays. We shall see in this very big moment for both teams. Missing weapons, though. No Connor once again out with a shoulder injury. Juju Smith-Schuster, they were hoping he would return. He got through the concussion with the knee injury, costing him this game. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they've won three in a row. They've now resembled the team that we thought they could be before the season started, Dan. And Baker Mayfield, their quarterback, is playing at a very high level. Yeah, he's played exceptionally well in the three-game winning streak. 64% of his passes, seven touchdowns, only one interception and just four sacks. The key, he told us, is how the offense has paid better attention to details. Communicated better, he trusts the protection more, and he knows he's surrounded by some of the best talent in the NFL. All right, time for us to do Project Smarter, presented by the Home Depot. Then linebacker Joe Schobert is the unquestioned leader for the Cleveland defense. He smartly has two interceptions in each of his last two games. Speaking of defense, T.J. Watt's stat line 